Melissa Bell is popping crack in its D-Bus reacts to this chick smooth video. Apparently, Drake and his goons recently bullied DeMar DeRozan at a Raptors game. <laughs> they are oppressed. They are mad, okay? Because DeMar DeRozan was a good friend to Drake, or so he thought. All right? He, when he used to play for the Raptors, him and Drizzy was like these. So he thought they was close, but then DeMar DeRozan basically took his side. He chose Kendrick during the beef, all right? He was in the Not Like Us music video. He was at the pop-off show dancing. He was on stage, you know, crib walking or whatever. He chose his side, you know, because he is from Bompton. So, you know, he's like, I got to stick with my people. I fuck with Kendrick. And uh, Drake did not like that. Even though DeMar has tried to stay neutral after the beef, he was on record being like, oh, Drake's still my guy, da, da, da. Nah, you chose your side, stay there. I agree with that sentiment, honestly. You, you, you did a lot, that's a lot. You in a music video, dissing Drake, like, come on. You can't be like, oh, I'm neutral. <laughs> You're in the music video, my brother. So I, I get Drake being upset, but you can't try to bully this man at the game, at the game. You and your goons. Let's see exactly what took place. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. Was it a continuation of the rap war of 2024? Or was it just Ooh, Team Pride? Look at him Drake and, uh, staring down in a... Look, look at him and, um... What's that nigga named Chubbs? Look at him and Chubbs. <laughs> they are not happy. They are staring this man down. Like, say something. Do something. What's up? Not them trying to square up with this man. They're on their feet right there looking at him. Chubbs looks especially upset. Posing player that used to be on his team. It's not a crazy thing for a Ooh. fan to do at a sports game. Let's not play stupid. <laughs> this is not just about that. We know what the real is. Look how look at how they looking at this man. I wish I could zoom in. Look look at the 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 expressions on their faces. Sure, it was during the Hot Boys reunion at Lil Weeziana Fest, but he decided to spend his night at the game. Yes, yeah, so if you ever put a, a DeRozan banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. That's the answer. Is that what you're gonna ask? No. Oh. I didn't well, you know Gerard. I didn't think Kyle. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> This guy said no. I wasn't mentioning nothing about that. You brought that up on your own because you wanted to. At Lil Weezy Fest, but he decided to spend his night at the game. Yes, yeah, so if you ever put a, a DeRozan banner up, I'll go up there and pull it down myself. That's the answer to question. Is that what you're going to ask? No. Oh. I didn't well, you know Gerard. He's not even mentioning that about that at all. Like, what are you talking about? You just want to get that off. Then in Kyle. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. It's hard. Absolutely. It made an impact on the history of the world. Look at him. Look at Chubbs. Look at Chubbs, bro. Chubb wants to kill this man, okay? He wants to unlock this man. That's our first retired numbers, right? Oh, yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to intimidate him 1,000%. But is anybody scared? <laughs> That's the real question. Are, 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 are we scared? Oh, we. This ain't about me. But... Demar, Demar, are we scared? <laughs> Cause I don't know if I would be intimidated by this personally. Chubbs looks a little intimidated, not gonna lie. But I just, I personally wouldn't be, wouldn't be intimidated at all. Drake has beads in his hair, not beads. Are those little balls? The little. Even if it was just some sportsmanship, yeah, the West would head. respond. But yeah, look at him. Look how he was looking at him. Yes, he's trying to be tough, tough. What's up, y'all? It's your man Talk with Bro Report for the Chick Smooth channel. We got to talk about this. As we covered and academics posted clips of Drake at the game, Jason Martin, also known as Problem, would reply laughing. But then things start to escalate a little. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Ooh. laughs> that, that's the energy that is giving. It's like, what the fuck y'all gonna do to shut up? Bit as glad. Wait, Drake to DeMar DeRozan's face as he ran into the locker room. Fuck out of here, pussy. Oh, <gasps> that's what he said? This is Malone was saying, all that staring and ain't gonna move no furniture around. Ooh. He will continue all that fake tough stuff on Wait, who is this? to escalate, also known as problem. With a
the clips of Drake at the game, Jason Martin, also known as Problem, oh, who replied problem. laughing. But then things start to escalate a little Jason bit. Martin? As gla- well, I'm not obviously that must be his real name, but I'm saying is that now his uh his stage name. As his Malone was saying, all that staring and ain't gonna move no furniture around. He would continue all that fake tough stuff on national TV is booth. You asked if we do fades. The answer is yes. Run yours and get that hate out your heart, Mark. Ooh. Will something like that be the official end of the rap war of 2024? Or should it not even escalate to something physical? Put a 21 in the comments if you think this is too far. But put a 22 in the comment section if you think this is what's necessary for everyone to move forward. But the people would question Glasses Malone saying, Kendrick is 5'5 five five and under 200 pounds. What fade is he running? And I'm from L.A. Most niggas out here can't even fight. Stop the cap. You ain't from L.A. saying, oh, we got shit like that. First of all, most niggas. You don't even know most niggas. Shut up. I hate when people lie about <laughs> their credibility. Like, they'll say some bullshit and be like, oh, I'm I'm this, by the way. Like, it'll, it'll be somebody saying some racist ass shit against black people and be like, I'm black, by the way. No, the fuck you not. Shut up. Your bullshit ass credibility you trying to sprinkle in there. Lies. Click on this page. Say you from Wisconsin. Shut up. Shut up. Okay? That's A. You don't know everybody in LA. It's about most people. A. B. They're not saying that Kendrick versus Drake run the fade. Are you dumb? That's not what's being stated. I had a good point in the first half, but then he started veering off a little bit. As Glasses Malone will reply, don't know which LA you from. Period. You from the Toronto district of LA. The Toronto but somebody district. else was saying, you think Period. Kendrick will run his fade? Stop it. And Glasses responded every single day of the week with zero, and I mean zero. Okay, I didn't think he was talking about that. I don't know. I ran my mouth for nothing. But <laughs> I don't think just because someone is shorter that they're going to lose. And I don't want to say think. I know this for a fact. Just because someone is shorter and a bit lighter in weight does not mean they're going to automatically lose against a fight. Um, against someone taller and with a bit more weight on them. I've seen it with my own two eyes. I've been a part of it as well. Okay. We're going to talk about that. So, yes, that's not, you know, any type of indication of who would win. But I didn't think he was talking about Kendrick versus Drake. I'm thinking he's talking about my hood versus your hood type shit. Because who's really going to just sit and watch? Let's just think realistically. Even if that's not what he meant and he meant literal, Who's going to sit and just stand around and watch Drake fight uh, fucking Kendrick? Like, nobody's going to do that. <laughs> Everybody's getting involved. Every bo- team, like, the both sides are getting involved. So, it'll really just be a L.A. versus Toronto type of thing. Like, yo, yo hood against my hood. That's what it would be. Let's, let's be honest. Um, this ain't no fucking boxing match that's set up and we're just going to watch on the ring. Nobody doing that stupid shit. They're not going to let them just fight one-on-one. So, realistically. I'm thinking realistically. Zero hesitation. They said, Kendrick not running fades with no one in his red bottom Chanel shoes with the lifts in them. Stop it. Glasses said, of course he will with the thing. kung fu emoji. Someone else said, 5'5 five, five is 5'5 five, five, though. Glasses said, Tank is 5'5, five, five, which is a great point until you realize that Tank is a world-class fighter. That's not the same for everybody. But also, J3 will respond, that's police activity on live TV. The bag more important than trying to show off for the world. Mm. I just want y'all to know, we play for keeps. And we tripping about one of ours. See? This ain't about knowing nobody. This is about playing with the land. See? Time for Kendrick to come out and f- come over again. Since they can't control their pets, don't tell us how to control our savages. Mm. Obviously, this is part continuation of the rap war since DeMar DeRozan was in the video. But the best place to do stare downs and talk crazy is a sports arena. It's almost sanctioned there. But let me know what you think of But you just admitted that it wasn't just a stare down. Y'all said that he called him pussy and was talking shit to him directly as he ran off the court. And, you know, then he had that little interview or whatever that was where they was basically just asking, oh, hey, Drake, how you feel being here? Because you're a big celebrity. You at this game you right here on on the front line and he like yeah ah, if it's damar poster up ah, smack that shit down da, 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 da. <laughs> like is that what you're gonna ask he like no nah, i didn't ask nothing about that like what are you talking about 
<laughs> you just want to get that off. So it's not just him staring him down. Like he's trying to, you know, uh, he's trying to intimidate him and talk shit and make it clear that he does not fuck with him. So, you know, that is a whole different situation. I think Drake just needs to accept that he lost and move on, brother. It is eating away at your spirit, at your soul. And you let it affect, affect your actions. And you're looking goofier and goofier as the months pass. You lost. It's over. <laughs> It's over. Okay, DeMar chose his side. He wants to, you know, crib walk with, with, with the L.A. niggas, all right, with his family, you know, back out here. Okay, cool. Then just write him off and be like, all right, I don't fuck with you. Blocks, keep moving. You know, don't do not deal with him. But what is this? <laughs> this bullying and intimidation nonsense is just goofy because you're Drake and you're just not tough to anybody. So, there's that. that's my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.